Courchevel in one piece. It was kind of nerve wracking with the coronavirus outbreak there. Things were tense. It was very nervous getting out of there. It's good to be here. So yeah, so we're here in Courchevel at the Ultima. It's a hotel my friend owns. It's not really a hotel though. These are like chalets. They're like big suites. beautiful here. We can ski in, ski out, which is clutch because you come right off the mountain, you come into your room, which is really nice. I was just out there earlier and it was snowing so much, you could barely see. We are gonna go into town, go check out the gallery because we have our gallery opening coming up at Bel Air Fine Art. So we're gonna head into town, check out some of the shops. Wow, it is freezing out here. We are not used to this cold weather. Are you, Alexa? No. When you're living in the warm weather, your blood gets thinner, right? And like you get used to the hot weather and then cold weather just feels even colder. Okay, so we're here in town in 1850. It's freezing out here. Oh. We are only sold five pieces. What? There we go, we sold five and the paintings aren't even up on the wall yet. You can see I spend a lot more time on them, you know? Yes, yes, yes. We, so I'm doing shading see. on them. And, yes, and yeah. Yeah, light and shadow. We made these in Puerto Rico and then we rolled them, took it off the canvas and rolled it and shipped it in a FedEx tube here and now they've stretched them. So I'm just kind of checking them out, see how they, the framing job was. So these are the ones that have already sold. Usually I don't post too much of the show's works on my Instagram. I kind of want the surprise to be among the audience who gets to come in and see the actual exhibit. So I only posted two pieces for the exhibit. I posted these on my Instagram and they sold right away. Yeah, I think, no, I think the Hermes ones are very special because they're like a limited series. Maybe the two here? Yeah. This place is super old school. Oh, Alexa, oh, are you excited? Up. <laughs> you get married to this? <laughs> wow. Every day we get married. <laughs> You're so cute. We're about to get fondue. Okay, dipping sauce. Yes. Gold sauce. Hot sauce. Cheese with truffle? Yeah, yes. Truffle. Wow. So, what do I dip in there? The whiz bread I come Wow. And then the meat goes in the other one. Vegan versus non vegan. Mmm. We cook the beef. Yeah. Ourselves. Oh, the 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 whiz whiz bread. Bread. <laughs> I am the chef tonight. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I put it in? Yeah. With the food. With, and leave it? Okay, so I am taking the bread. I'm getting it in this truffle fondue. Lay off my fries, man. Ooh, look at that. Okay, here we go. First time fondue. Truffle fondue cheese. Wow. As we're having fondue, Alexa has hit two. Two million, I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. Ciao. Aww, bye bye. So yeah, what a nice lady. Back from the 
fondue. It's movie time. Look, it's snowing outside. Oh my gosh, look, blizzard outside. Perfect time to watch a movie. Okay, you want me to start the fireplace? Yes. Movie time. It's time to cuddle and watch movies. I'm we'll see you tomorrow. We go and snowboarding. Just waking up. Beautiful little view we have here. You can check out the conditions just from like sitting here and having breakfast. Really good spot. Traditional French breakfast. I don't really uh, eat breakfast in the morning, but when you're on the mountain, you get hungry really fast and you burn a lot of calories. <sighs> okay, so the best part about staying in a ski and ski out, you can literally walk right out. Put on our ski stuff and go straight out from here. Perfect condition. Such a breathtaking view. Wow, we are up here. Not used to the altitude. Look at this view, it's unreal. So, I've been riding all day. It's been a great day, great conditions. And now it's Alexa's turn. Claim she knows how to ski. I don't claim, I know how. You want to carve, like in, in an S turn. You got like this. Yeah, go like this to go slow. I'm kind of nervous now. It's okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we just had a nice little ski session. And we are headed to Cap Horn. Cap Horn. It's like the dope lunch spot. Super famous. People pop off there. So we're gonna get it popping. Yeah. <laughs> I like that big coat. Killing it, bro. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah, we're here at the famous Cap Horn. Ooh. 
Wow, that looks tasty. Okay. Hey guys. 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 Hey This is Lino, my number one fan. He runs the Alec Monopoly fan page. So if you've seen it, go yeah. follow it and follow my friend Lino. Thank you. He came a long ways to come meet us. Very much respect and love for Lino. Thank you very much. Are you excited to be on the YouTube? Yeah, absolutely. The Monop vlog. So now we're headed back to the gallery, do a little repairs on a piece, make sure the setup is good. Yeah, we out here, Corsha Bell! Okay, so this is a little tutorial on how Alec Monopoly eats caviar. We're here in Courchevel, we're living it up. The most important ingredient is caviar. You want a good caviar. This is Icon Caviar brand. This is actually a personal favorite. It's like beluga level, light fish. When the, I'll show you a little bit about the caviar, but when the caviar's a lightish gray, that's when it's best. So we'll keep this cool for now while we prep the accoutrement. Creme fraiche here. Open up a little bit of onions. Some people like onions with the, with the caviar. Gives it a nice little zesty poppy feel. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look 
that. This is top quality. Now you always serve caviar with the ivory spoons. They say that when you serve it with a metal spoon, it takes away a lot of the flavor. Wow, we go big. Normal people do a little bit less on each one, but. right before I eat it because I don't like too much lemon like soaking into the bellini. Perfect. Caviar and Courchevel. Off to the gallery, last day in Courchevel. We're going to the big gallery opening. We already sold like five pieces, so it's already a success. We're out to the airport at like 3.30 a.m. tomorrow. Wow, it's gonna be a mission. Miami next, here we go. Woo, it's slippery!
All right, we out of here. Courchevel, it was an amazing trip. Wow, we did a lot. We snowboarded, we sold some art, graffitied on a gondola. So uh, it was a great trip. Thank you for tuning into the vlog. This one was an epic one. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to click subscribe and like this video as well. I'm checking the comments, so drop some comments. I would love to see what you guys have to say, what you want to see next. So now we're off to Miami.